giving homage to your to your mom and she supported you to do something to go on a path that a lot of black people and black women had not even thought about going on or they might have been discouraged to do those things because they didn't have a family to support them you know what i'm saying you know what champ let me can i share something with you i hear you but we actually do you know what i mean all of us do even you you know what the situ mm -hmm. situ the issue is the issue is uh, and this is what i learned because i was one of them a lot of us kids we tend to think that our parents are trying to boss us around and this that and the other we get our little egos etc on our chips on our shoulders and what we fail to realize is that our parents are actually trying to keep us from getting burnt. You understand? When I say getting burnt, when during my time, it was going to hell. Our parents are doing everything in their power to keep us from going to hell. So, sissy, don't do this here. Don't do this here. They'll predict certain things. And you're going to do it anyway because they told you to. Told you not to. So you're just going to do it for the heck of it. That's something that I learned in my experience with my mom. Is that there were a few times, I'll be honest, you know, she told me, sissy, don't do this here because these, this is going to be the outcome. And what I had done, I went ahead and did it anyway. That makes sense? And sure enough, my mom was 100% right all three times. But yet I had to experience the pain, experience the hurt, experience to say, go back to my mother each time individually and say, you know what, mother dear, you were right. Now, mind you, I have siblings. And it got to the point where I was like, you know what? My mom is always right, so I'm going to start listening to her. Yeah, that makes sense? I'm going to start obeying her like it states in the Bible. Obey your parents, but parents respect your children. That makes sense? So yeah, that's definitely. where I was. And I had to also share that with my brother and sister. Yo, y'all, you know, mom is always right. She said, well, she's always right. If I were you, I would just go ahead and listen to her, you know? But that's what I did. I obeyed her. You know, and I obey my, my grandmother and I obey my other grandmother because they're far more wiser than I am. Far more many years of a whole heck of a lot of experience on them than I have. And I got to be honest with you, again, each time they told me not to do something, they told me what the outcome was. I went ahead and did it anyway, champ, and they were right with the outcome. So again, back to I am a listener. I obey. I pay attention to my parents, what they say to me. And not only that, I learn from it and I use it in my everyday life. That makes sense. They're no longer here today, but I still hear their voices. Does that make sense to you? I still hear their coaching. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it makes perfect sense because yeah. I do it myself. I thought my mom was just trying to spoil my fun, but now I got to go back and say, Mom, I'm glad you told me not to go to that party or go yeah. on that street or hang with yeah. this person. Because my Give life could have been totally different. Yeah, absolutely. Give her her prompts because she's right. You know, we got to obey them because all they're doing is protecting us. You know what I mean? Exactly. They can't be with us 24-7. You dig? Their voices can and their spirits can. But you know what I mean? They, them physically can't be with us 24-7 in order to ensure that we are doing what needs to be done in order to protect ourselves and be able to come back home to them. Because that's what mamas, all, mamas and grandmoms care about, is us getting out, going out in the world, doing what we got to do, and coming back safely to them. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because they planted some seeds early on. And some of those seeds, you know, when you plant different fruits and vegetables, they don't all harvest at the same time. Yeah, this one right, may Ken. take three months. This one may yeah. take 30 days, et cetera. You right, know. right, right, right.